With a nursing shortage looming, six years ago, the School of Nursing at Loma Linda University began planning for an off-campus master's program. Held at Mission College in Thailand, this program graduated 22 students in more than 10 countries throughout the world. Here's their story. The very first day, uh, as we were uh, going around campus that evening, we ran into some of the students and they told me their story about when they arrived uh, in the wee hours of the morning that day. They expressed how uh, worried they were about where we had scheduled to have this uh, program because they were going farther and farther away from the city of Bangkok and they didn't imagine that there could be uh, a decent uh, academic place out in the country. And lo and behold, uh, when the sun came up that morning after they arrived there, uh, and they saw what a beautiful place this was and all of the beautiful bougainvillea around the campus. They, uh, they couldn't uh, stop talking about it. So about six years ago, um, Dr. Helen King, who was the former dean of the School of Nursing, and Dr. Lois Van Cleve, who was the former associate dean of the graduate program, and Dr. Pat Jones, who is in charge of international nursing, got together and really worked to develop a program that we could take out across the world. My first day is really an exciting one because I know I, I'm going to meet different uh, nurses from all over the Asia. I was so scared in my first day of school and I don't know how to get along with all of these people around me because I think they are so competent and all of them. As usual, the faculty walked in and as they walked in, my first instinct was to my Asian culture to stand up on my feet and greet them. And so I did it. But I soon realized that I was an odd person out there. My teacher noticed it too and she said, well, here, yeah, you don't need to stand anymore for your teachers. And it made me wonder, because back home in my country, if I didn't do that, my teachers would think that I was being very disrespectful of them. And here is my teacher who tells me I don't need to stand up. And she came into the classroom. And I said, this is going to be something different. We had students from about 11 different countries coming to us. We had 22 students in the final group. Um, they came from India to the Philippines, from Japan to um, Pakistan, from Myanmar, from um, Vietnam, and a few from China. I remember the first day I go to class, I was very surprised that there are many students from 10 countries, more than 10 countries. And I think it is so funny to work with, uh, to, so fun to work with them. And I learned a lot of languages, like Japanese and Indian. I tried to learn the simple uh, language. The, the need for qualified faculty is compounded in these countries uh, because there's a, a global shortage of nurses and their best nurses with the most experience who would become nurse educators and those who already are nurse educators are recruited to places like the United States to meet our needs. It really benefit people all over the world who has family members and that is impossible to leave and that it also reduces the chances of people who send to over to United States after they complete their education, they feel comfortable there, they didn't want to come back to their own country to serve. That, that's part of the reward, is seeing them committed to, um, to making a difference in nursing education in their own countries. That's what this was all about. 
It takes approximately 18 hours to get there by plane, so it's a tremendously long trip for us. We got there sometimes at 2 o'clock in the morning on Monday morning and started teaching at 8 o'clock on Monday morning to the students. Students, of course, coming much shorter distances, it was much easier for them to have the timing to get there. It was intensive. The faculty worked hard. They were exhausted by the end of the two weeks. The students were even more exhausted. By the end of the four-week session, you could just see the fatigue in their eyes, but yet the joy of the knowledge that they had been able to have the opportunity to get. Um, when we study, in, pre in preparation for any quiz or exams, we always have this noodle party. Usually we will have uh, dinner very early at about 5 o'clock. So very often we feel very hungry, maybe at around 9 to 10. And we cook noodles. And we, we open a big blanket around our, just at the middle of our beds. And then eat together, enjoy ourselves and laugh. <laughs> and that's really very good experience for me. Each time we are stressed out, that's we we call it. Let's have our noodle party, and everyone cooks noodles and then join together and eat. <laughs> Although the study life is hard, um, I really cherish this kind of experience. What nursing is really all about is making a difference in another human being, in their health, their well-being, their empowerment, uh, and uh, the privilege of, of being in that position is, is awesome, whether it be a patient or as a student for a teacher to make a difference in that student's life, not just for that day, but for the future. It changes them. And I hope they will never lose that. This degree will help me a lot. Not only the degree, the learning experience and the knowledge that we learn. Actually, I have already implemented all the knowledge and the concepts, theories into my practice already. I can use what I have learned here to serve and to serve and to help her uh, increase the quality of uh, nursing higher education in China. I'm very proud of being the, a graduate student of LLU. But I think tomorrow, LLU will be very proud of us to be their student because we are going to, you know, to do a lot to contribute to the society, to the patient and the people around us. It means a lot to me to be a graduate of Loma Linda School of Nursing because number one, I know that God, the Almighty, made it possible for me to be a student of Loma Linda. He didn't take me to Loma Linda, but he brought Loma Linda to me.